Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new series on this channel, or should I say the continuation, the logical next step after the React.js basic series. This series is all about React.js and Redux. And we already got an idea in the React.js basics series, if you saw that, why we might need an improvement for bigger apps or for apps where we really need to manage our state, our data in the application, where we got a lot of component interaction and why this might lead to problems. Now Redux is kind of a solution to this problem and makes handling the application state, so knowing where we are and handling our data really, really easy. So before I dive into React.js Redux here, let's have a look at a basic React.js application. No Redux at this point. Now that's a very, very simple application, which leads to this screen where I got my main page, where I have a button and then a the user page where we see a username. Now, if I click the change the username button, the name down here changed. Do you see it? Let me show you again. It changes to Anna. And of course the code responsible, responsible for this lives in my index.js file, which has my state where I store the initial username, max, and then this change username method where I change the username to a new username. Now this change username method here is passed as a prop to my main component here. And the username from my state here is passed as a prop to my user component. Now this user component simply outputs the username and the main component here well, this component actually has this on click listener on my button where I trigger the change username method and change the username to, well, Anna. So that is what's going on in this application here. That is of course a relatively simple and easy application. You wouldn't see the big problem, though you can already see what might lead to a problem. I'm handling all this state in index.js and here it's doable and not that confusing because I only have two components because I only have, well, one thing that changes a state or changes the state, this single method here. But imagine this being a bigger app and you saw this in the React.js basic series where we, where we talked about component interaction, where we had multiple buttons and so on and it quickly gets out of hand. You quickly have to create all these chains of passing event handlers as props to children, these children calling the events, passing the data back to the root component, passing it to other children. So it really gets complicated and you really get a problem managing that state and knowing where you are in the application. Therefore, we need a better solution and I will use this basic app, which you can find as a separate branch in the GitHub repository you find in the video description as the basis for this Redux series and we will gradually enhance this application to then really be, well, better and to show how to use Redux. So let's start.